G'day guys, my name is Jaden. welcome back to my channel. I'm at Perth Airport and today I'm flying Virgin Australia Regional from here to Adelaide on board their Airbus A320. So this is my final and fourth leg of my Paris to Adelaide journey. So now without further ado, let, uh, let's go into the terminal and check in with VA. It's a very windy day at Perth Airport, doesn't feel like summer at all. My Cathay flight from Hong Kong had a very crosswind landing from uh, uh, at Perth Airport. It's so windy that you can hear the wind inside the terminal. It's only half past five, but the Virgin terminal is already hustling and bustling. I looked up at the flight departure board and most flights in the morning are going to regional Australia like Newman and Caratha, places I've not heard of. And many of those passengers are FIFO workers. So they're not really business travellers, but they have to fly a lot for work. And many of them would have gained airline status from flying a lot. The Virgin Australia priority check-in desk and the Virgin Perth lounge were full of those workers. It really was a sight. The Virgin Australia Lounge is located around the corner after security. I got in here at 6 o'clock and there were barely any seats. There was also a long line at the Barista Coffee Station. And then at around 6.30, many of the flights within WA start to board and depart and the lounge got a lot quieter. Hello there, welcome to Virgin Australia Perth Lounge Shower Room. I'm in the unisex one, also designed for people with a disability and it's really massive here. And you've got the shower here. So I really, really want a shower because I've not had one for over 24 hours. My last shower was in Finland. Um, so yeah, I can't take it because they don't have any towels this morning, but they should be arriving anytime soon though. But anyway, I did go to the reception and ask for a dental kit, so I'm going to freshen up as much as I can. One thing I miss about Australia a lot when I was overseas was a good chai latte. I love how the barista was yelling orders like skinny flat white, cappuccino, long black to have here. And then with my order she was like vanilla chai latte. And then like the eyes were on me like who orders that drink? Anyway the barista nailed the chai latte, it was very delicious. There's also a breakfast buffet here but the food option is rather limited. For hot food there's only baked beans and skinny sausages, there's no eggs at all. There's also a small selection of yogurt, fresh fruits and bakery items. I've just picked a comfortable seat to look over the tarmac and have my chai latte. The furthest Virgin plane you can see here is our A320 to Adelaide. The domestic side of Terminal 1 at Perth Airport is probably my favourite terminal in Australia. It's very modern, you've got high ceiling and the design is very contemporary. This definitely puts a lot of shame for airports in Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like, comment down below and share this video with your friends. And most importantly, please subscribe if you haven't done so. I upload a new trip report like this every week so you don't want to miss out. So we just made it to our gate and from here you've got a gorgeous view of Perth skyline and our aircraft. This is a 16 year old Virgin Australia Regional Airlines Airbus A320-200 Victor Hotel, Victor November Juliet. It was delivered to Tiger Air in 2006 and then in 2018 it was transferred to Virgin Australia Regional Airlines. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Passengers are reminded. Morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome on board Virgin A320. My seat today is the middle seat 11B at the emergency exit row. It was a last minute booking so I didn't have many options for my seat selection. But at least I got extra leg room, not too bad I guess. As you can see the interior is really old, it's still got the Tiger Air configuration. So there's no business class on board. Sitting at the middle seat today means that I can take part in the middle seat lottery. It's a promotion that Virgin Australia is running at the end of this year. Some prices include an airplane trolley, 
and a platinum status with Virgin Australia. So I'm going to go through the seat features with you now, it's really basic, there's no TV, you've got a tray table, you can pull it back a lot because you've got plenty of space, but you can't fold the table. There's no power supply at a seat at all. For in-flight food and beverages, only coffee, tea and water are free of charge, you will have to pay for other things like juice and food. there, welcome on board, Virgin A320 economy class lavatory, oh well it's uh, it's all economy class lavatories here, there's three on board, two, one at the front, two at the back, so I'm at, I'm at the one at the front behind the cockpit, quite spacious, not too bad, leg room is pretty good, and we've got a co hook. Um, time change between Perth and Adelaide, local time now is 12.30 p.m. and after the 21st. We'll be commencing our descent shortly for Adelaide. Uh, the weather is quite a strong uh, south-west degree, cool temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, and some uh, scattered clouds. We do trust you to enjoy this final of us. More importantly, we do hope to see you on one of our future flights on Persian Australia. So we're going to start descending into Adelaide, so let me quickly conclude this trip report right here, right now. Our journey today starts at Perth Airport, very busy there, but very efficient, great chai latte at a Virgin Lounge. But a bit disappointing though, they didn't have any towels available for shower. The Virgin A320 is really old, it's not been refurbished since the change in ownership from Tiger Air to Virgin Australia. But the seat was relatively comfortable, the seat back was thick, and obviously I got so much legroom sitting at the emergency exit row. The main disadvantages of this aircraft for me would have been the missing headrest, lack of power supply, and no entertainment. Our cabin crew are really really nice today. After the coffee tea water service, they've come back to the aisle multiple times to check on the passengers and offered us more water. So overall today, not a bad flight with Virgin, very solid. Welcome back to another q and I'm in Hu Jimin City. I'm at my uh, Adelaide housemate's home here in uh, Hu Jimin. So um, let's do a Q&A quickly before we go out for the night. So first question, I'm going to make the screen a bit brighter. How's the feeling of rebranding? So I recently changed my channel name from uh, One More Flyer to Jaden Wall. Yeah, I like it so far. Uh, to my channel itself, uh, so far I don't see any adverse effects, like people aren't missing out because they didn't know One What Fly is now Jaden Wong, or they thought, oh, who's Jaden Wong, not gonna watch that video, you know, that that's not happening. Uh, and I feel like I'm being myself now on my channel, and some people are asking why did I change it? It's because, well, a few factors, I wanna be more myself with my channel, and, uh, you know, one, well, fly is like four syllables. Jaden Wong is like three. It's easier for everyone, I suppose. Next question. How long will you stay studying in Adelaide? So I no longer study. I finished last year and I had my graduation in September. So I'm just living in Adelaide now, enjoying my life there, doing some YouTube, flying around. Do you prefer Qantas A330? 200 or 737. Obviously the A330 because it's a wide body aircraft. It's more comfortable in any sense and you get more leg room. Uh, last question. What do you think of Starlux? Would you give them a try? Starlux just looks magnificent. Like from all the re reviews I've seen so far, they're amazing, like good food, very beautiful interior. Like even their boarding pass looks beautiful. Um, would I give them a try? Obviously I would if I have the chance to go to Taiwan soon. But obviously if I go to Taiwan, I really want to give uh, EVA and China Airlines a crack as well. Um, and it, it will be fantastic if they join One World or they uh, give me a status match. So that's it for the conclusion, uh, not conclusion, Q&A today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on Monday. No, Thursday, bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign. 
has been turned off.